Okay, so now building the uh, Linux kernel for uh, MacBook Pro. Uh, the Linux kernel for uh, Ubuntu. Here it is. It's using uh, a T2 secured the uh, hardware for the Apple MacBook Pro. So it doesn't work out of the box, so it needs to be done, you know. Here it is. <laughs> These are the driver support from the T2 Linux uh, website. It's an open source community. So as you can see, a uh, process involves getting the repo from the T2 website and change the uh, kernel version that you want. I use 5.16.1 that's the one that is available from this guy 5.16.1 that's the latest and then once you change that then run build the build will take time you know depending on how many cores you have might be hours you know to build this two hours hopefully less than that on an eight core machine um, which i uh, it will be faster you know it's depending on the number of cores so once it's built once the linux call it vm linux build kernels build then we need to replace it on the system then after that then you can now install all the drivers mentioned here so for the wi-fi for instance, this is the one instruction. That's the website right there. Just make sure you can see the T2 Linux. And then for the uh, keyboard and the mouse, it's right here. I'm gonna follow all this instruction. For uh, triple booting Windows with Mac and Ubuntu, I would say. Special instruction for that. And it's on so far. For each one of the peripherals of the Mac. So this one seems to work. Hopefully it all works for this version of Mac. For the sound card, this is how you install it. Etc. Even for the fan control, the one that's built in inside here. Um, it's not, uh, it's running, but it's not running. Uh, you cannot control it until you install the driver for the fan. So and so on and so forth here. Okay. So this is for the Ubuntu distro. You can see it's now what step is this? It's now compiling all the source code that it downloaded. So it downloaded all the source code first and then based on the git site, you know, GitHub. And then from there compile it. And then next is deploy it to a, a binary file, like a Linux kernel file for the 5.16.1. So let's see how long will it take. It's gonna take a while. How much process is this using? Let's see. Let's use H top. Nah. CPU. Ooh, it's using all the CPU here. <laughs> yeah, this is where you need multiple cores really to run. Order like an app in Ubuntu to check. Mm. Activity I think monitor is the name. Yeah. System monitor. Mm. Resources. Yeah. Oh this one has sixteen cores. Everything is hundred percent. Let's see. It's using all the cores, even more, it's even much more than playing a game. <laughs> You're not using all the cores on a game, usually. That's a lot. <laughs> now, what type of CPU are we using here? Uh, let's see CPU. No, there's no. 
We'll just uh, search for it. I9 using MacBook. It's an Intel i9, I think. i9 processor 8 core yeah okay there you go it's an 8 core so that's these are the threads i would say time is 2 that's why it, it's 8 core 16 threads okay. the fan is blowing up pretty bad you can see so it's gonna take a while i'll stop it Did you wonder what are those that oh those are object files for the c compiled all right okay we'll see in a moment 